Alright guys, so what's going on? In this video, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking a mocap data from Axis Neuron, from my mocap suit pretty much, uh, and we're going to import it in Unreal Engine 4 to be used uh, and applied onto the meta humans. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go to Axis Neuron just so I can show you guys the actual uh, mocap data we're going to be using and it's this thing right here now I'm not going to be exporting the entire thing because that's going to take forever so what I am going to do is just export maybe like a small piece of it because this takes a long time so what we're going to do is just export from 750 to 800 so I'll go to and as you can see here I have a couple of takes but basically I just recorded this um, motion capture in Axis Neuron. And I am going to be doing a live version of this, but I am still trying to figure out some stuff, so trying to pretty much tweak some things because I couldn't get it to work properly. So I'm going to be waiting for um, Noita Mocap to come out with their version so I can see what I'm missing. So for now, we're going to do an offline version, which is my preferred method anyway. So I'll go ahead and go to File and then go to Export. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 750 to 800 like I said and then what we're gonna do here is instead of biovision let's go ahead and change it to an FBX binary and we're gonna change this into the tutorial mocap or mo and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to um, and then all you have to do is export and we're gonna go ahead and close this here alright so the next thing we're gonna need is uh, let's go ahead and save all here uh, next thing we're gonna need is the plugin for uh, neuron access neuron so if you go edit plugins neuron right here you can get this from the marketplace so I'm gonna go ahead and enable this and then restart my computer or my Unreal Engine alright uh, now that we have that loaded up I just want to give you guys a disclaimer this is I don't know if this is how you're supposed to be doing this but this is how I do it I just want to make sure that you know uh, you guys know that just in case I mess something up here so uh, what we're gonna do now is just take a look at the uh, content settings so I'm gonna go ahead and press cancel here I'm gonna go to view options and just to make sure that the plugin content is turned on and we're gonna go to this little source panel right here and we're gonna go ahead and type neuron live link content okay so I'm gonna click that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of the robots to pretty much attach that FBX animation from Axis Neuron so we can use it with this meta human here so I'm gonna go to robots and I'm gonna go ahead and use perception neuron since I don't have the studio version I'm too poor for that and I'm gonna go ahead and just go back and I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this skeletal mesh onto the scene and it says something about being out of bounds but it's okay I'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it here. Now, I like dragging and dropping it here so I can just see it. And I'm going to go ahead and press G so we can hide that annoying light bulb there. Okay, so now that we have that skeleton here, I'm going to go ahead and double click it because we actually have to get in the bones. So I'm going to make, make this bigger here. I had it set up to a humanoid rig. So if yours isn't set up, just click here and then select humanoid. And everything should be, uh, everything should line up. But if not, press load and they actually give you um, mix of bone mapping, perception neuron base, and perception neuron studio bone mapping. So go ahead and choose the correct one. But for us, we're already set up. Everything is pretty much lined up. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to character and bones and then bone names. Because similar to my previous video, I want to make sure that spine is actually properly labeled here. So I'm going to go to my skeleton tree and look at the spine and see where that's laying. So that's spine spine one spine two and spine three so i guess that's okay that's 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 a pretty good area for the spine one so uh spine one should be spine one and then spine two should be spine two and then three so all i have to do is that because that spine is all the way down here and we don't want that you go ahead and go back here i'm going to save it and make sure show retargeting options make sure the first two is in animation and the rest are in skeleton okay except for this one we shouldn't have to worry about that so go ahead and save oh see that's good to go and i'm gonna go ahead and minimize so our skeleton is set up for the axis neuron robot and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our guy here now i did make a tutorial on how to do this uh using an animation you get from the marketplace so if you haven't seen that go ahead and check it out because i set everything up so this is more like a part two so i'm gonna go ahead and go back to i'm gonna get close this here we don't need it go here and i'm gonna go to content and we're going to hide this for now and we're going to go to sample meta humans common female 
we're going to go to the skeleton pretty much of this person. Now, this is where I'm going to lag a little bit, so just bear with me here. I'm going to go ahead and unlit this. Uh, and as you can see, if I go to the skeleton of that meta human, it's the same exact setup. I do have everything pretty much the same. The bone names are the same. And uh, I forgot to tell you, the pose also needs to be the same. So this is an A pose. I know this looks weird. If you want to see the actual bones, just go to character, all hierarchy, and you'll see the bones. So this is an A pose. So if you click on view post, it's not going to change because that is an A post. So if we go to skeleton tree here, same exact thing. Make sure retargeting is good. Scroll all the way down. Looks good. And then for the robot, let's go ahead and make sure that our post is also an A post, which is not actually. It's a T post. So we're going to have to fix this. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, pretty much manually adjust this thing here because... If, if I leave it just the way it is right now, it's not going to work properly. So, okay, so I'm not going to go like really, I'm not going to go crazy with the A post here. We're just going to do something quick. All right, so what I'm going to do is go to left arm and I'm just going to go ahead and drop that down. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the names. And I'm going to go to uh, left arm. I'm going to go to right arm here. Where's the right arm? It's hiding somewhere. I'm going to go to right arm, go right and just do it like that. Like I said, if you want to match the same exact pose of the meta human base, you can as well. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead and uh, just do it this way. If I go to retarget manager, I'm going to go ahead and modify and use the current pose. So if I change this, you're going to see that it's kind of like in an A pose. All right. But like I said, if you want to do it, you can do it here if you want, if you want it close. But for now, I think that is a little bit wider. So let me take a look again. Alright, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. Okay. We go ahead and minimize this here. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up here a little bit. And now we are back here. So now we have uh, the meta humans in APOS and we have the skeleton in APOS. Even though he's not in APOS right now, he is in the skeleton form. We should be able to go ahead and import that uh, motion capture that we exported from Axis Neuron. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to name this. Uh, mocap folder and all we have to do is drag and drop that file the fbx file we exported from axis and drag and drop it here okay so it's right here i'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop it there and then for the skeleton you guessed it we're gonna choose this skeleton right here which is the i'm gonna go ahead and type pn all right that's the skeleton right here and i'm gonna leave everything as is everything should be good exported time is fine and then i'm gonna go ahead and import so if you have a massive animation that you exported, you might freeze here. So for me, I usually split them in two or three so that whenever I import it here, it doesn't take forever to import, okay? So if I go double click this, you're gonna notice something funky here. Uh, the animation is rotated incorrectly. So if I scroll down, I'm gonna go ahead and change the import rotation to 90, save asset, reimport animation. And this takes a while if you have a big file right here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And if I double click, you're going to see that mocap animation is now applied to this skeleton. All right, see the movement there? That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. That's very good. And then all we have to do now is retarget this animation to the meta human. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, retarget anim asset. And we should see that skeleton. And as you can see, it isn't kind of like an A post. But like I said, if you want to spend more time on that A post, you can. All right. You can change the folder where this is going to go. But I'm going to leave it as default. So that should be okay. And then what I'm going to do is double click that. And as you're going to see, the animation is there now. And like I said, the hands is not going to be... It's not going to match up correctly because we didn't really do a good enough job for the A post. So you can see the hands are kind of weird. Okay, so last thing we need to do is actually go ahead and create a new sequence here. I'm just going to create a new one. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy right here. And I'm going to drag and drop him in the sequencer. And then I'm going to delete the meta human control rig because we actually have an animation that we're going to import to this guy. So after that, go to track, animation, and then our um, mocap retargeted animation right here from Axis Neuron is right here and then all you have to do now is just press play I don't know why what happened to his hair there but he lost it <laughs> okay I, I, okay I don't know what happened but he lost his hair but as you can see the the uh 
the character is now animating similar to how we were animating it using the mocap suit, which is pretty cool. And if you want to see that in this robot as well, if you just change this animation asset, you change right here, and then you're going to have pretty much the same thing. Now, like I said, if you fix the A post just a little bit better, then you're not going to run into this problem here. They're kind of overlapping a little bit. Uh, additionally, if you are running into problems, they do have separate physics as well. So you have to keep that in account. So if I double click this, I'll go to physics. This is what the robot's physics looks like. But if I go to the meta human's physics, this is what it looks like. You, you know what I mean? So you just make sure that, you know, you are also fixing the physics and make sure that they are very similar to each other. Okay. And after that, all you really have to do is export this file here, and that's pretty much it. Now you have, now you imported your Axis Neuron mocap information from your suit into Unreal Engine 4. And I know a lot of people have been asking for me to do this, but this is pretty much how I do it right here. Now, like I said, I am going to be maybe showing you guys how to do this live, but I really don't like live because I rather have... I don't know. I, I think A, it's because I'm afraid that live will take a lot of resources. So I do it offline. But, you know, that's just me. All right, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys later.